few minutes and show you some of the uh, different vacuum motors you'll find on most portable carpet extractors. Here's the first one. This has uh, the exhaust gets diffused out these little ports. Uh, this isn't very common. You won't uh, find this in too many units. Uh, we use it in the Carpet Express K5 and K6. This vacuum motor is much more popular. You'll find this in uh, Thermaxes. You'll find this in uh, uh, some older rinse and vacs and the Carpet Express and many rug doctors. This is approximately five inches in diameter and it's a two-stage vacuum motor. Uh, these are uh, very versatile and if it, if your vacuum motor looks similar uh, this will fit. This is the same type of vacuum motor except you'll notice it's a little taller and it, it's what we call a three-stage vacuum motor. As you're, uh, you may say, oh my vacuum motor uh, really conked out, it's making a lot of racket. It's usually one of these fans that have gone bad and I'll show you how that is. Here's what you'll find in the vacuum motor. You'll find the outer shell you'll find a stationary fan and in between the stationary fan and the outer shell is a rotating fan and then there's another rotating fan up here and that's a two stage that has got two of these okay sometimes these uh, um, stationary fans get rusty and they these pieces of metal come apart and twist in here and that's what makes that real loud metallic sound you can replace these and, and they fit together like that and they're not too hard to replace, but they're hard to come by these parts. But we do stock most of those. Now, this is the uh, same type of vacuum motor, except it's seven inches across. You'll find this in some uh, older rinse and vacs and some thermaxes. Uh, the extra two inches pulls a larger column of air, and air is what makes the carpet dry better. Now, this is also a seven inch vacuum motor, but again, it's a three-stage vacuum motor. You can see how tall it is. But you'll notice this has a little cap on it, and this does not. Today, these uh, have a little uh, cooling fan, and it sucks air in to cool the armature. But what's happened with some of these machines, like the Thermax and the Rinse and Vac, it's inverted. It's turned it upside down when it's installed in the machine. And as you're coming across the carpet, you're sucking in uh, moist uh, air, damp air, into your armature and that'll cause the bearings to go out. So rinse and back and Thermax at one time customized uh, these cooling fans and reversed them but unfortunately uh, they're out of business and so you have to get one, an older one, that has the uh, reversed cooling fan. So that's why we use this. This has an internal cooling fan so you can invert it and what it does is it blows air out and it pulls it from the cavity of the machine and blows it out uh, so that you don't put any moisture into your armatures. I hope you found this uh, helpful. If we can uh, help you any more regarding uh, the vacuum motors or your needs, uh, just contact us through uh, www.carpetexpress.biz. Thanks for watching.